Hi, I'm Jim Wright, General Director of Vancouver Opera, and we're preparing here at the O'Brien Centre for our last production of this season, and it's a monumental work by Verdi. This is Verdi's late period, his most mature period. He wrote only three more operas after Don Carlo, and that was Aida, Otello, and Falstaff, all incredible masterpieces as well. This is really grand opera at its grandest. He wrote this piece in the 1860s in French, for the Opera House in France as part of the grand French opera tradition. But he revised this work several times and finally the last revision was in the 1880s, about 20 years after he wrote the original. And he was much more satisfied with this piece. He said it's more concise and stronger and better than the earlier versions, but it's still really big. There are 67 choristers, there's 61 in the orchestra, there's a bunch of supernumeraries, 11 principal artists that come from Italy, Canada, the US, all over. The best Verdi voices we could find. It's a piece that is steeped in history. It's set at the time of the Spanish Inquisition. And I would say that Verdi in this late period of his life became more and more interested in the musical characterization of the people on stage. These are people with deep personal issues that guide their political decisions. It's a fascinating work musically and dramatically even though Don Carlo is one of the grandest, largest operas we've presented in a long time, we have tickets at $35 for those under 35. Certain sections of the house during these performances are going to be sold for $40. We don't want anyone to miss this Verdi masterpiece. We haven't done it for 40 years, so uh, don't wait for another 40 years before you take a look at Verdi's Don Carlo. Thanks.